Today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most reliable patterns I've been looking to trade for the past 15 years of day trading. Everyone's always wondering, when will these patterns end? I don't know, but I'm telling you, this one has been around for maybe as long as trading has been around. Welcome back everyone. I'm Lead Trading with Stocks to Trade, Tim Bowen here. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And if you get a second, share with your friends. I mean, our channel has really been growing lately and that's because of you. And I would say this a lot, you might get sick of me saying it, but I don't think there's ever been a better time to learn trading. I mean, the volatility, the volume, the prolonged moves. I mean, that's one of the biggest things why I want all of you learning these patterns is, you know, it used to be back in the day, we'd get these one day spikes, maybe two day spikes. Now we see multi-week, multi-month spikes, and that's a pattern I'm gonna be talking about with you today. Now, also, if you really wanna get in to the nitty gritty of trading, I mean, I bring you as much as I can in all these videos with the live videos I've been doing with the podcast, but I tell you, the steady trade team is the best way to really speed up your learning curve. Every single day, twice a day, I do two videos or two live webinars, 45 minutes long, I answer every single question in detail, you see my screen, also, Huddy, uh, Michael Hudson's helping out doing webinars, you know, with a different approach, different style than me. We've also got Kim and Curtin doing the psychological side of things, and we've got this team growing. So check out the Steady Trade team and really fast track your path to success. All right, so now we're going to talk about breakouts. I mean, listen, I know that often I'll hear this, you know, I'll hear traders talk about, well, buying breakouts doesn't work. You know, that that might be one of the most uh, annoying recurring themes I've ever heard in day trading. And now, listen, buying any breakout doesn't work, okay? You can't just buy some random stock that's breaking out to multi-week or multi-month highs. But when you have the recipe, when you have the right setup, you've got a high probability setup. Now, there's a bunch of things I need you to be looking for, and I'm gonna list those through and explain with an example recently. This is, this is a stock from last week that ran that checks basically every box, and these are setups you can look for every single day. And I don't care if you're watching this video in 2020 while I'm recording, or 2025, or if you were watching it in 2015, five years ago. These patterns repeat and they work. So what I wanna talk about is G-E-N-E, -E, and again, this screenshot's from July 2020. What we've got here is you can see the stock has a history of running. Um, as recently as January, went from two to as high as five, and actually this stock has a long history of running. Let me, let me give you a jump back to a longer chart. I mean, I, I remember when I first got started trading back in you know, 2008, 2009, you know, this stock, you can see it ran in 2011, it ran later in 2011, it ran three times in 2011, it ran in 2012. So this is a stock that has a history of running, which is criteria number one. That's, that's what we wanna see. Stocks, you know, you'll hear me say this line a lot, but history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes. The same stocks, day traders, I pick on day traders a lot for having short attention spans, but they, they remember tickers, they fixate on tickers and they remember these things. So when they're, you know, when whether it be me or other day traders, when they're sitting there in the morning and they see Gene gapping up on volume with news, it's like, whoa, I remember Gene from a year ago, six months ago, you know, a week ago. I mean, I remember this stock and I'm gonna look to attack this stock because I know that every time it's ran, it's been very liquid. That's the other thing I want you to look for, pre-market volume, liquidity. We need to be able to get in and out of these stocks quickly. And then the last, well, not the last, but one of the other things I want you to keep an eye on is that, you know, that news. We need something for traders to kind of latch on to. And you can see last week they had coronavirus news, COVID-19 news. Now, one quick tip, this is a penny stock, okay? This is a penny, and when we see these former runners, they pivot, they'll, they'll put out a press release that says anything, but that's what's great is it, 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 they're, they're gonna target the hot sector. They know this, they do it on purpose. This is a game that they're playing because they know what's gonna happen when they issue that PR with keywords. Many traders like me are scanning 
for specific keywords. That's actually a lot of the videos I talk about this. You can go to the archive and I show you how to use stocks to trade to scan by keywords, okay? So let's zoom in now and, br and break down these other criteria. So you can see in pre-market, great volume, gaps up big. That means it's on everyone's radar, okay? It's on every scanner. Whether you're using stocks to trade or a free scanner, everyone's looking for volume plus uh, big moves, plus news, three big things. Next thing we wanna start look, or, and then number four was that former runner, okay? I'm, so I'm ticking them off, I'm adding them all up for you here. And then the fifth thing we're looking for is that pattern, that multi-month breakout. And you can see that Gene, in pre-market, let me jump back to that one year, one day chart just to zoom in a little bit. But you can see that when it broke five, I mean, that's a big level, okay? That was a level that it tried to spike through multiple times in January, failed, failed two or three times, couldn't break that level. So again, when we're talking support and resistance, key levels, also a whole dollar, half dollar. These are all areas that we look for. And then that area is also an afternoon high, which is one of the number one patterns I want you to focus on, especially if you're a new trader. So that's the last piece of the puzzle, is that afternoon VWAP hold, high a day break on unusual value, volume. That gives you your confirmation, that gives you your entry. Okay, it's one thing if you're ticking off all the boxes. How do I trade it? When do I enter? When do I, you know? When do I buy? When do I sell? Etc. Entries, 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 and these volatile stocks are so important because if you take a bad entry, you can see Gene faded all afternoon after it spiked from five to ten. It pulled all the way back to five, then halted on bad news and gapped down. So you gotta have the best entry, and that best entry, I think. Is that high a day break into that 2 p.m. window? You can see the stock spiked at 1.30. It was, that was confirmation. Also look down below, look at that U-shaped volume, okay? That's what we, U-shaped volume and U-shaped price action because now you're bringing in sellers midday. That, you know, and then here's the thing. If Gene had faded all day, there never would have been an entry. But when you get that U-shaped volume, that U-shaped price action, that high a day break with the VWAP hold, all these patterns we take, talk about that's your entry you buy that break, late day break and here's the thing back to that my joke at the beginning about you know buying buying breakouts doesn't work this thing was a breakout four different times and you could have bought it as late as seven dollars a share when it was up 250 300 percent on the day and still made a dollar two dollars three dollars a share of upside on a five or six dollar stock and that's an incredible incredible move so these are the breakouts we're looking for. These are the stocks that have all of those components of the recipe. Former runner, news in the hot sector, okay? Look for that buzzwordy news. Now, remember, I always want you to be skeptical of any low price stock. We're not bag holding these stocks. We're not long-term holding these stocks, but we know the recipe and that's what I'm giving you. The unusual volume, the big moves in pre-market, that U-shaped VWAP hold, late day, high a day break into the 2 p.m. window. A lot of jargon, all right? I know I threw a lot of terms out there at you, and it may sound like word salad, one of my favorite new terms. I've been using that a lot. But if, if it sounds like word salad, like I'm just throwing a bunch of words into a bowl and mixing them up, check out the Steady Trade team. Again, these are simple concepts, but you gotta see them over and over again to really grasp them. And the best way to do that is twice daily webinars every single trading day. I've done over 2,200 webinars in a little over four years. They're all archived. I save my notes. You get access to all of this information. Check out the Steady Trade team. Check out all of our videos. You know, go through the archive. There's a bunch of great information here. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time.